Hello guys, welcome back to our channel again. Today we're going to show you how to bleed the cooling system on a Chrysler PD Cruiser. We have many videos on our channel how to fix things on PD Cruiser and one of them was we replaced the thermostat on it. And <coughs> it's very important to bleed the coolant system good, otherwise you might have an air pocket and you might overheat the engine and not even have a heater inside the car. So what you need to do, you need to open the radiator cap and now right here that's the bleeder let me show you right there down there this is the bleeder right here with a 3 8 wrench you need you need to get it loose and we already did that so we can save some time right there that's how you access it it's limited space and then you just take we need to take it off And we get a clear hose and you need to put it on the bleeder, make sure it gets there good. And now you need to get the bleeder right there, but first we need to remove that overflow bottle hose, right, right there, the overflow bottle hose. And now you need to get the bleeder there, don't get it too tight, probably just 3 revolutions, 2-3 revolutions would be good. Okay, now we just put it through the cap, through this water bottle right there, so we can collect the coolant and we don't make a mess, and we can even reuse it, and now you need to plug this hole with your finger, and we need to start adding cooler very slow. If you do not bleed the system right, it's going to cause uh, air pockets inside the cylinder head, and even the engine block which can result in overheating and damaging the whole engine. So you need to start adding coolant. It will take you a while and right now it's only air coming through the holes. As you can see there is no coolant coming yet. Okay make sure that you use the 50-50 coolant otherwise you have to dilute it right. And Right here on the hose you can see it started raising already. Now you have to go really slow right here. Okay we're going to put the bottle right here because you don't want to be your uh, the highest point of the hose should not be higher than the cap right there otherwise you won't be able to get the air out of it good. And now this is the coolant right here as you can see in the little holes and you just wait okay air bubble coming out and you have to just take the time to do it right okay and now it's leaking in the bottle you can see air bubbles coming through and as you can see it's decreasing right there so make sure that you do that for at least get at least half a cold one cord through the through the little holes that way you know for sure that you don't have any air bubbles and air pockets inside the engine okay we already did ours and the next thing is just to uh, get it tight there right there get the bleeder tight so we'll need to remove uh, you, you actually can pull the holes out so that way we, we will not make a mess. Okay, let me just do this one right here. And now you just lift it up and we can turn the bleeder, get it tight. Okay, now we need to tighten it with the, with the wrench. It's very limited space there, so even if you have a shorter 10 millimeter wrench, it will be really convenient to use. Okay. Okay, now you need to pull, to put this hose, the overflow bottle hose, and you need to remove the hose from the bleeder. You just pull it out. Okay, right there. And next, make sure that in your overflow bottle you have coolant there. Okay, now make sure that the heater is on hold and the fan is on. Okay, all the way. So this way it circulates the water through the heater cone. And we let the cap off. 
So that way we can add some if it takes a little bit more. So just slowly add some and make sure the car doesn't overheat. Let it get cold and check the level again. Never open hot because it might spray in your face or burn your skin. So that's the whole procedure. Thank you guys for watching us. If you have any questions, let us know. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like for future videos.